Let's hack into his mainframe, overclock and set his chips aflame. Detach the weekly core, knock him on the head. Freeze him for the rest of time in a cryo bed. She'll be so pleased, I do declare, that she will cook him rare. <laughs> Nicely we take her rocket sentry, aim it at his flare, and then knock three times, and when he answers, that moron will be no more. You're so stupid, think now, if we blow him into smithereens, he will be in pieces, and then she'll never hear him scream. Detach the Wheatley core, throw him into space, leave him there for many years till his power fades. Because our dear lady Gladys is the meanest gal around, if I were on her second list, I would rather drown. Be so pleased by our success. The children warned us too, I bet. Perhaps she'll even think to beg. Her fish should crack her cake. We're her little henchmen and we take our job with pride. We do our best to please her and stay on her good side. I wish these robots weren't so dumb. I'm not the dumb one. You're no fun. Oh, shut up. Make me. I've got something. Listen now, this one is real good. You'll see. We'll leave a present at his door. Upon there'll be a note to read. Now in the box we'll stash and hide until his curiosity entices him to look inside. And then we'll have him one, one two, three. Detach the Whitley core, release him with the clay. Dig around inside his head, see what makes him tick. Detach the weekly core, crush him into bits. Our dear lady Gladys is sure to get her kicks. Detach the weekly core, turn him into starch. He'll be out of power and she'll be back in charge. <laughs> <laughs> 